Today, President Biden made history, designating June 19th or Juneteenth as a federal holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the U.S. Juneteenth is also now an official state holiday in New York and New Jersey. CBS 2's Nick Calloway went to Asbury Park, where a special celebration is being planned. On the west side of Asbury Park and on the poor side of the tracks, change comes slowly. Affordable housing brings signs of life to the area, but good food is hard to find. It's a food desert over here. There's not many healthy options. Like, if you don't have a car and you live in the projects over there, you can't uh, access healthy food. It's why three friends joined forces to open Macrobites, a health food market and food delivery service. Dave Lewis, Fritz Georges, and Jarrett Atkins all went to prison for drug crimes before turning their lives around. Now they're trying to turn their neighborhood around, too. In addition to shipping meals all over the country, they donate food to those in need right here. The guys are also among the organizers of a Juneteenth celebration Saturday. There's a parade from Neptune to Asbury Park, then a festival at Springwood Park. It's a big thing now because we get to get the community together, our people together, and just have a big celebration. It's the first large scale organized Juneteenth event for Asbury Park and Neptune. Yvonne Clayton is on the Asbury City Council. Fun, education, community, and just coming together and sharing love, and also what's very important sharing knowledge. For Dave, Fritz, and Jarrett, it's a chance to bring people together, not to demonstrate, but to celebrate. It's just the enlightenment. It's just the, the sense of community, the sense of culture, the sense of um, inclusivity. Think about one of the biggest festivals that this city's probably ever going to see, you know, and we're going to do it every year. It's going to be amazing. Organizers of this event estimate more than a thousand people will be here to take part in Juneteenth and be a part of the community. In Asbury Park, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.